It was based on a need that I personally had. I always had these ideas in my head of little side businesses I wanted to start, little companies I wanted to start, kind of an entrepreneurial mindset. And I needed a way to like prototype those ideas really quickly and see if they were viable to get them out there. And so I built Laravel as a way for myself to do that, but then I ended up actually releasing it to the world so that anyone could do it. I did not expect it at all because Laravel was really a way for me to build other things. But it just so happened that Laravel sort of became the business, uh, the framework itself. I built a business around it. I wrote a book about it. I built commercial services around it. And that kind of became the business, but it really it was always supposed to be a stepping stone to something else. But now other people use it to uh, build their own businesses. And I, I didn't expect it to go this way at all. I didn't expect it to be so popular, but here we are, I guess. I was not prepared, and so that's why it was a scary step. I didn't, uh, I didn't study business. I didn't have any business credentials, really. Um, I just had to take it one step at a time, you know, and, and took it slow for a while. It was just me for the first few years. And then after a couple of years, once I kind of got the hang of things, hey, this is actually sustainable, we may be able to keep it going, then I was able to bring on some additional help.